Hello everyone. In today's video I break down a recent security report on Quadream's attack on iPhones. As usual, you can find the link to the report in the description below. First of all, this attack targets iPhones running iOS versions 14.4 and 14.42. However, it is not clear if other versions are also affected. The attack is a zero-click exploit called End of Days and works via invisible backdated iCloud calendar invitations sent from the attacker to the victim. This exploit was developed by Israeli surveillance company Quadream and sold to governments in Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Hungary, Ghana, Israel, Mexico, Romania, Singapore, United Arab Emirates and Uzbekistan. It has been used in these countries to spy on civil rights activists and journalists. The actual people behind Quadream are somewhat hidden, however a recent lawsuit actually identified three key individuals. The attack works by abusing an iCloud calendar vulnerability that adds backdated events automatically without notification or prompt to the user. Microsoft Threat Intelligence is also on the case and identified the malware being used. This malware is called King's Pawn and consists of a downloader and the spyware itself. The spyware is very potent. It can record audio from phone calls, record audio from the microphone, take pictures with both cameras, exfiltrate items from the keychain, generate 2FA passwords using SQL to search through the phone's database, track the location and finally clean up any traces to impede on forensics. Moreover, Meta also reported a Quadream activity. They used 250 Instagram and Facebook accounts to test the capabilities of the spyware on iOS and Android. Apparently they were only lucky with iOS, however there is no guarantee that Android devices are safe from the spyware, only that no incident has been found yet. Quadream is a so-called private sector offensive actor that sells its zero-click exploits to governments in order to spy on their citizens and especially on persons of interest that are deemed dangerous to the regime. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.